everybody, it's Kelly on wine and whatever. Happy Thanksgiving. And I know this video is super late. I've been up in the mountains and I wasn't able to make my how to make pecan pie video. So I am doing it today. And maybe you guys are procrastinating. I doubt it. <laughs> you could always use this, you know, for Christmas or whatever holiday you feel like because it's delicious and I'm not drinking any wine yet because it's still early in the day but what I did pick up and what I would hope that you guys would all pick up for your holiday holidays in general is something like a sparkling cider a sparkling um, juice and this is by Martinelli's you can get it at basically any market or target or, or wherever and um so anyway i am drinking this today and this is sparkling apple cranberry in honor of all of my friends that don't drink alcohol and kudos to you guys because it's a difficult time because everyone's boozing it up and i know it makes it very very hard to stay strong so stay strong drink sparkling juice and no one will you know give a crap either way um i'm just super proud of you for what you do and so yeah i always try to have this on hand if i'm doing you know um a dinner or whatever and it's just good to be thoughtful of everybody so um let's try this because i have not had the apple cranberry i've only had the cranberry and I think Martinelli's, Martinelli's is, is a nice one, and it always gets um, awards. It's got a gold medal, so it's very fruity. And, you know, the other thing is, you guys, if you don't drink and you feel awkward because you feel that pressure, pour something like this and you've got it in a wine glass, nobody's going to know the difference. And the people that are, like, knocking them back are going to be like, hey, cheers, and you know what I mean? No one's going to give a crap about it and that's really refreshing I kind of like it I do like the apple with the cranberry but you know whatever just have something on hand for everybody it's important it's important so it's also important I'm wearing flowers in my hair and I don't even know why and um, I'm wearing moccasins for you know representing Thanksgiving <laughs> Okay, so what we are doing is making pecan pie, and shh, do not tell my secret. It's super easy and so delicious, and um, you will love it. So, simple. You, you don't need many ingredients. All right, you need a big bowl. Starting out, carols. I always get the light syrup. You can get the dark syrup. Totally up to you. So, you throw one cup of that in, and I have already cracked three eggs, so you didn't have to watch me pick the shells out of the bowl, because sometimes I'm not very good at cracking the eggs. So yeah, three, three. I got three large brown um, farm-raised, um, organic, all of that good stuff, eggs. So you're gonna throw those guys in. And then one cup of sugar throw it into and this is uh, two tablespoons of melted butter just melt it down a little bit and um, pour that in perfect and a teaspoon of vanilla extract I sometimes I forget this and you don't want to forget this so I don't really <laughs> carefully measure it what a surprise and that's it so I always use a wooden spoon, and so I will just mix that up really good. Now, as far as crust goes, I'm, you know, like I grew up, my grandmother always made homemade crust. Well, I'm not my grandma. <laughs> so I buy these, pie crusts, because um, I'm too lazy. But if you are inclined to make your crust, oh my there's nothing better. There's nothing better. I remember just eating it 
you know, she'd put like a little bit of butter and, and um, cinnamon and sugar and I was just like <coughs> So anyway, this pie crust is what I get. Uh, two of these come, two tubes of these come in each uh, box. Only get Pillsbury because I've tried the other ones and they are not good. So what you're gonna do is um, you just pull that open and so what I do is I butter, I lightly butter um, just with a stick. I just kind of around the pie dish. And they don't tell you to do that, but I kind of think it's a good idea. And then this is so easy, you guys. You're just gonna unroll your dough and you can pretend you made it homemade for sure. People will believe it because it actually is really good. So then you're just gonna lay it in your dish and just kind of let it settle for a minute. I actually leave the pie crust, I don't bring them right from the fridge and then do this. I let them sit out to get a little more room tip temperature for about 10 minutes, that's all. And that way it just kind of starts to lie down and it, it's just a little bit warmer. So then what you're gonna do, so you can make it all looking super homemade, is you know take the crust and I just pinch it and put my finger in there to give that homemade kind of look and I do that all the way around and if the best part is you kind of mess it up it looks even more homemade because you know when you go to the store and everybody's done it and they buy those pies ready to go they look too perfect they're too perfect and then people are like oh, you can't pass that off as your own like you just can't I mean, maybe Martha Stewart and whatever. But, okay, so just go pinch and go all the way around. So it's kind of like semi-nice. <laughs> okay, so you've got your mixture. At the last of this, um, I throw in one cup of chopped pecans. Throw those in. Mix that up. And you've got your uh, oven at 350, okay? So you've preheated your oven while you've been making your mixture up. So it's all good to go. All right, so that looks awesome. And now you're just gonna pour that right in to the pie shell. Don't be shy, you sort of can't mess this recipe up because it's just, it's just that easy. Please don't tell my dad because he thinks I'm like the only person on the planet that can make this dish. So don't ruin it for me. <laughs> okay, the other thing you're gonna want, and you don't have to do this. Me, I'm sort of a perfectionist. I've got, um, I get the pecan halves. And I, they're a little bit pricier, but you know what? When you show up with these at a party, uh, people will love you, because it just looks amazing. They won't even believe that you made it. So what I do is, I get a bunch of them, in my hand and what I will do is literally just go all the way around as perfect because I'm a Virgo as possible and then I will continue this until I get all the way around and I won't make you guys watch that tedious process but you're gonna circle it and circle it and circle it until you get right to the middle and then when the pie comes out of the oven in 50 minutes, 50 to 55 minutes, um, you guys are gonna see what a beautiful creation it can be. So, I will be back in uh, 50 minutes. I'm gonna plop this in, and then I will come back out with the finished product, and you can see what happens. I will be back. Okay guys, I am back. The timer just went off for the pecan pie. So let's take it out and see how it looks. I think it looks amazing. Okay, here we go out, okay. And as you can see, that 
is how it's supposed to look, my friends. Now, when you take it out, it can still sometimes be a little bit sort of wobbly in the middle because it's still gonna cook right now um, for, for a while. But don't leave it in too long. So if there's movement in the pie, don't let that freak you out. Just know it's gonna settle and it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so here's the other thing. I always make my own whipped cream because I don't like it out of the can or those tubs or whatever. I wanna make it real. So I've been whipping whipped cream. Well, it wasn't whipped cream for like the last 10 minutes and it never got whipped because I bought half and half. This is not whipped cream. Oh, the store is closed. I already called. So nobody's going to get any whipped cream today. Um, I don't, I don't even know what to do with this. Anyhow, <laughs> look twice before you grab this. In the dairy section, obviously, it will say whipping cream. What you're gonna do is pour that in your bowl and you have your blender. I put some um, raw sugar in there too and you just keep whipping it and whipping it and whipping it and um, you can put a little bit of vanilla in there too, just a little vanilla extract and keep adding a little bit of sugar and you just whip it until it comes out so delicious and I'm so bummed right now. <sighs> Anyhow, once you do your whipped cream, don't put it on the pie. Put it in a separate really pretty bowl with a really pretty spoon, any spoon will do, <laughs> and just have that there for your guests so they can put it on or not put it on. Not everybody likes whipped cream or you can have vanilla ice cream, but I love whipped cream so much and I don't have any today. <sighs> it's all right. It's okay. Okay, so that's it for turkey day pecan pie. I hope you enjoyed this and um, please leave me your comments and let me know how your pie turned out. And if you have any other pointers for me, um, do that too. And if you're so inclined, you could throw a whole bunch of, you know, chocolate chips in there while it's cooking. Because I've heard that's delicious. I've also heard, yeah, try that. If you find something else even better, let me know. Okay, cheers guys. Happy Thanksgiving. See you next time. Bye.